Well, Indiana is dealing with a rise in COVID cases. We are currently seeing our highest case count since May. Now, back on May 1st, you can see the cases were over a thousand a day, but the seven day average, which is on that dotted line there, went down over the summer. Now, this week, you can see it's starting to tick back up, and it's not just b become a problem here. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez looks at COVID concerns across the country. Tennessee now leads the nation in the number of new COVID cases per capita over the last two weeks. They've seen more than a 300% increase, and the remote counties around Memphis are seeing part of that sharp rise. Some of those patients are ending up here. The vaccination rate in this state is just 38%. Now, we visited another COVID unit in a hospital in Arkansas, which says that it is at capacity. It's not just small states and small cities that are dealing with this. Big cities are dealing with it as well. Los Angeles, for example, has just taken a step back and reinstituted its mass mandate indoors, even for those who are vaccinated, effective Sunday. And last night, the New York Yankees postponed their game against the Boston Red Sox because several of their players tested positive. Here in Tennessee, the CDC director now says that the state's decision to halt vaccine outreach to kids is, quote, incredibly disturbing. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Memphis, Tennessee. And the Indianapolis Colts are one of the only two NFL teams with vaccination rates below 50%. The league has not released the numbers, but the AP has a source who says the Colts and Washington have the lowest vaccination rates in the league. Pittsburgh, Miami, Carolina, and Denver have the highest vaccination rates. The Colts start training camp July 28th at Grand Park.